6 and um, earlier this afternoon I would uh, I decided to fool around a little bit with uh, mid journey what mid journey is uh, it's an uh, artificial intelligence that can uh, take your text inputs and uh, make uh, images out of them um, and the results are quite astonishing and there's a lot of hype in the, not just in the graphics arts community but uh, everyone in the uh, uh, illustrative arts and the graphics artists uh, all those people who make a living out of uh, making illustrations and pictures uh, under a commission and uh, the future is uh, very bleak for them because if you if anyone can go to an, uh, an AI service and um, start uh, popping out pictures in a few uh, seconds just by typing that typing down the, whatever pops in their heads then you can understand why should uh, for example why should an author um, why should they commission a, a, a cover a cover uh, illustration for their book cost them costing them five or hundred or a thousand or a thousand bucks from a a real artist when they can go to such a service and uh, play around for a little while and in a few minutes literally they can have a, a beautiful picture for their uh, for their book or for any any commercial use so you can go to midjourney.com to uh, get a taste of what this artificial intelligence can do so what you do is go to this uh, they have uh, prepared some uh, free public uh, discord servers when you go and type in the message uh, forward slash imagine and after that you type in the description of the image you want the artificial intelligence to make so this is the a short gallery of the pictures i made you have uh, uh, they give you 25 uh, high resolution pictures that you can make in your uh, free trial and then you can pay 30 30 euros a month for personal use or 600 euros uh, for a year and get a com the the license to use uh, the, your uh, images uh, commercially so the first thing that thing that popped in my mind when I play around with this uh, mid journey AI was uh, Lara Croft in medieval knight's armor and um, what the program does is it uh, gives you for uh, a draft of four variations and you can choose to make new variations upon this uh, first draft or choose one of more of these four variations and make a more detailed and high resolution image and uh, keep uh, uh, you can uh, keep telling the AI to make uh, more variations on an image you you like so you can at some point you can uh, come down to the finalized image that you like and um, there are some uh, parameters you can include 
after your description but I, I wasn't aware of them and you can increase uh, the quality and the parameters of the lighting the realism or you can make them uh, more photorealistic or more uh, abstractionist and more abstract or more uh, illusionary but I didn't know and some details are uh, really funny as you will see so this is the first experiment and if I zoom in you can see there's quite a lot of nice detail there the program tries to <laughs> um, searches from the images on the, on the web and tries to tries to match the elements that you uh, that you give it for example this is approximately the face of Lara Croft and her uh, apps and her uh, <laughs> from from the early illustrations along with a, a fantasy kind of armor and here you can see the uh, influence of um, illustrations with her uh, shorts and uh, you know her boots or stockings I don't know uh, this is reminds you more of a traditional Lara Croft pose and um, it's really extra extraordinary the variations in the armor the variations in the pose uh, here she has a sword it's really really amazing the creativity and uh, I decided to make a variation on this one and uh, finalize it in a higher resolution you can see them the level of detail is really amazing the face here <laughs> it's funny because it reminds me of uh, the actress that uh, played uh, the last role Alicia Vikander and she reminds me of a, a little of her face but it's really a beautiful face and check out the it's it, it looks like an oil painting the amount of detail and uh, it's it's not photorealistic but it's you know it's really amazing it's beautiful and so is here it is the the first high resolution image and uh, then there was uh, I created a, a second batch it allows you to reset and create from scratch a second batch of photos with the same description and you can see it makes more variations on the armor and it's amazing imagine if you are a, a game developer and you want to create very quickly a different set of variations for your uh, game characters <laughs> this is truly amazing you can have that in seconds and actually you can this is these are uh, high detail enough to incorporate into a game with still graphics if you're making uh, for example art for a strategic or a, an RPG game you can use them very easily and another variation you can see this this looks more like a traditional Lara Croft pose and this one this also <laughs> it, it uh, this is <laughs> maybe a, a gun or a knife it mixes and matches styles from uh, you know the traditional uh, Lara Croft iconography with uh, the medieval uh, with the medieval theme and look at this this another set of sleeves another variation different uh, different variations fantasy armor it's uh, 
different poses. And this is all the decision of the, of the artificial uh, intelligence. You can pick to work on more detailed variation of these four. Another high resolution image with a broad sword this time. This is quite amazing. This is really beautiful. And uh, another set on the same theme. Uh, <laughs> this one curiously doesn't have any <laughs> any arms. Yeah, when the 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 first drafts are uh, you know a bit uh, hastily made because there are parameters to uh, for better quality but slower uh, processing but I wasn't aware you can uh, put parameters after the the command this one is quite beautiful the face is quite beautiful this is more rough you know this is very nice too the the armor is uh, quite uh, the details are quite imaginative and elaborate here it's it's really amazing and then I decided to go with another theme and ask the AI to make a picture of Athena and Artemis drinking tea in the evening by the sea. <laughs> and I wasn't sure exactly what I was thinking. It was uh, perhaps because I, I, th I had seen uh, the movie Thor Love and Thunder and I thought about... Uh, ancient gods and and uh, I thought let's put two two goddesses uh, chatting in the in the evening drinking tea by the <laughs> by the Aegean and so the AI turned up with these four completely different variations which goes to to show how how imaginative is this AI which is at the same time very beautiful and uh, very frightening and so the first variation shows two uh, slim figures and th is this <laughs> a pot of tea a bucket of tea <laughs> it's it's a very nice picture well you can cut it and frame it it's very nice this shows two women um Apparently, this is Athena and this is Artemis, or vice versa. But they are huge. They are looming over the horizon. You see the sunset here. These two goddesses. But uh, there is no tea to be had. So, where is the tea? <laughs> and over here, you see another, you know, another... Uh, there are the, the shades, the figures here, they're dark, where is the tea again? And finally here we have a more uh, abstract uh, painting, or like, more like a French Impressionist version. And now the goddesses are uh, <laughs> Japanese uh, geishas. <laughs> and one of them is having tea, apparently. And they're looking uh, over at the distance, at the full moon. And uh, this is supposed to be some uh, tea on a glass uh, jar. And perhaps some toast. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> on a nice uh, table. And so I decided to go with this picture and make a more detailed image of it. And uh, yes, here are four variations on that theme. Here you see there's a... This is a very large cup of tea. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this time they both have some tea. Uh, this time Athena has, uh, is drinking and uh, uh, Artemis or whoever is, uh, has put down her, her tea. There's a 
played here. Perhaps they had some, uh, I don't know, some uh, nuts or some fruit with their tea or some uh, biscuits. <laughs> Who knows? This is nice. And uh, I made a high resolution picture. Yes. This is nice. You, this is, you can actually use it for decorative purposes. The, the detail is very nice. It looks like a, a Japanese uh, oil painting. There are some tea here on a very light, like crystal uh, decanter or something. Is this a candle? I don't know. It's abstract. It's illusionary. And... Uh, it's very nice. The same picture with less uh, noise. And then I decided to <laughs> fool around a little more. And uh, I, asked, I asked the AI to make the image of uh, an ancient Greek hoplite with a golden helmet. Yeah, the, the helmet is golden, all right, but <clears throat> there is nowhere this is not a Greek, an ancient Greek hoplite. This is more like uh, uh, something coming out of Star Wars. Yeah, so this is a failure. <laughs> and then there's something spooky. I asked the AI to make a tall, slender woman in white tunic holding so a sword in a lush garden. And apparently the AI took the word slender, which can be associated with, uh, you know, horror movies. And uh, it gave me <laughs> a headless woman, which is creepy because look at the rest of the, 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 the background is uh, absolutely beautiful. And that look at the detail on the wild, the white tuning. But uh, she has no arms, no, it's like an empty dress. So it's a beautiful horror image. Here the, what looks like a sword, is this a sword? Goes through her clothes, where is her face? Uh, at least in this one it seems like we are seeing the back of her. Here, here. But uh, is this a sword? Why is it? in the air but uh, you know the the garden and the nature is uh, on the background is uh, quite beautiful so i made a variation of this thing of this image here i think and uh, yeah it gave me again four variations uh, and it again it looks like a, a uh, an imaginary a dreamlike uh, image of a lush garden with uh, a pond of water you can see this uh, beautiful woman in her white dress uh, it's very nice and then more variations of that. This is creepy. Where is the face? <laughs> this is the sword. Is the sword is in the air? You can uh, see this. All these uh, weird mistakes. This is a uh, nicer image. And it, look at the, the background here. It's uh, it's. Quite, quite beautiful quite beautiful and here you can see a little this figure that she looks to the to the right she's holding the sword what looks like a sword this is a bit more accurate and yeah I wasted the high resolution image this frightening no arms no face i didn't know at the time that i had a limit 
of 25 images so I wouldn't have wasted this and I made two other variations with relative success the face is a little problematic you see it's not very nice if I knew that you could uh, that you could tell the, the AI to make the image more accurate with higher quality even if that meant uh, the rendering process would be slower I would have uh, chosen that and but you can see it's quite beautiful you look at all this this detail here in the in the dress it's quite amazing in the the detail here you know the arc here it looks like an, a renaissance painting it's quite amazing and here she is look at this it's a weird creepy face and she looks like she's wearing a, a a very very strange hat who could come up with the on uh, who could come up with such a such an image an AI and another high resolution variation look at this She's uh, holding a sword now. Uh, her face is, uh, you know, uh, it's spooky again. But you know, this is all automated, which is uh, quite amazing. It, it's quite original. There's no, there's no. Uh, it is one of its kind. It's created by. Uh, the AI button uh, with random parameters as well so this image is one of its kind and another variation here look at the look at how nice how nice the, the dress is it's, it's quite beautiful the face the face doesn't hold up very much uh, when you zoom in but this is a draft if if I could finalize it with uh, the highest level of quality it would be nice this is this is more accurate look at this it's fantastic and uh, all of a sudden the <laughs> All these uh, details. The what? What? The, what is this? This figure here. All this dreamlike, uh, you know, details. It's uh, quite astonishing. And another variation. And another one. This is something else. So, uh, and another high resolution image of this theme. Look at the, the detail on the in the foliage and the flowers and the sky. It really looks like a classical uh, painting. And then uh, something easy for the AI, a girl with red hair and green eyes with orange lips, uh, a portrait and a cinema style, it's very nice, look at all these, these different things. <laughs> this I decided to put in Alan Sugar holding Amstrad CPC 464 realistic well it's Alan Sugar all, all right but it's not realistic and it, where is the Amstrad CPC apparently the AI doesn't know it's uh, retro computers but it knows Alan Sugar and it's created something of a 
like an Andy Warhol style style uh, image. Is this a silicon wafer? I don't know. Very, very uh, futuristic uh, font for uh, for his name. And uh, this is uh, what the uh, came came up when I typed in Amstrad CPC 464. Uh, yeah, I mean these uh, lines are. Uh, remind you a little bit of the 80s of uh, you know perhaps the manuals of Amstrad CPC which were color colorful and this is another set I uh, experimented with I put in a young girl with uh, jeans using a retro computer with a green phosphor CRT monitor in her dorm room photorealistic I, I chose to, to give this very elaborate description to see what what uh, the AI yeah, would do with it. Would it would it be able to translate and incorporate incorporate all these different descriptions and details into the picture? And for the most part, it did. Because look at the look at the very first set of images that it produced. We have a young girl with her jeans uh, using a computer, a retro style computer with a green force for a monitor in her dorm room and look at the, the very very different representations this uh, looks like a monitor with a rudimentary uh, graphics AI is this a ZX81 or a small computer? I don't know but look at this pose, it's very, very attractive, very nice, and this also, apparently this is a, a retro computer, it, it reminds you a little bit of the small screen of the Apple IIc, and there is another variation which is a, a bit funny, we can clearly, we can clearly see the jeans and yes she's a girl but why is she looking why is she staring <laughs> at the wall <laughs> and here is the the computer apparently this is the keyboard which looks a bit like a typewriter uh, it's a little weird and here we can see we, this is the monitor I guess and she's using the computer and look even the the style of the clothing is uh, uh, period accurate because you had back then those uh, t-shirts with uh, those uh, colorful necklines here it reminds you of the of the 80s and so I decided to uh, make better versions of this one so it came up with these four images which were which are very funny uh, it decided to put a desk here now she's still looking far with her back turned turned to us and uh, <laughs> the computer is like uh, a folded chair <laughs> which is very funny now like she looks like she's standing uh, on a, on something of footstool or something this is the computer yeah more variations on the same theme and uh, on the third run yeah she she turned she here she's the computer is uh, reminds you of uh, an MSX perhaps with some cartridges or the blue keys of uh, what was it, the Mattel Aquarius um, some things on the top, on the top we can see a bit of her face 
Here it's another variation. The room is similar, but she's sitting down now. The computer is uh, more realistic now. There are other things on the desk too. She's still wearing a jeans, this time a jean jacket with a sweater. Yeah, <laughs> this is funny because she she's turning her neck. <laughs> but we can still see her back. Very funny. And look at now. With, with each variation it puts in more details or moves to another direction. The here is more abstract, more funny. Now she's taking the girl is taking another pose. Here too. She's holding something now, perhaps her books. The computer is more uh, realistic now, but it's still uh, a little abstract, like a painting. Now another set of uh, of pictures with the girl holding the the computer. You can see here different approximate. Uh, representations of a, a retro computer look at this very nice very imaginative very beautiful very nice renderings and each time even though it's imagine that you ask a, a, a real person an artist to make <clears throat> to keep on do, making different variations on the same subject it, how much time how much how many days how many weeks it would take them but the ai <clears throat> drew drew this uh, pictures in a few seconds which is absolutely astonishing and another variation Look the the different hairstyles, different. It's it's completely different. It's like you you are dreaming, and the dream the details uh, change each time you blink your eyes, which is like it's exactly like a dream. This is not reality. It's a dream. It's like a different timeline, a different dimension a different uh, slightly different variation on the on the same thing and I made a high render a high res uh, render of one of them the, look at this the, the the face came out quite beautifully look at this level of detail on her clothes the computer is very funny <laughs> you know it's like I don't know, it's made out of a <laughs> soft fabric or something. It's like, what is this? It's funny, but it's quite beautiful at the same time. And another. Uh, well, uh, uh, the face is a little weird. We, can, we have this uh, imperfections on the wall. Like you have, you have other details creeping out in the, you know, in the, like this, what is this? It looks like a magazine. And uh, look at her jacket, the details, what is this, a button, what? You, you keep discovering strange uh, details. What are these things here? It's... It's like a Salvador Dali painting. And another set of variations. Look at this. Actually, I believe this is a pre-rendering of, uh, of, of this image. Yeah. 
and another set of images on the same motif and you see each time the, the AI decides to to change things in the background, put some elements you know, change the... look at the... it's another girl now different uh, style of clothing but it's the same young girl with jeans but it's another... it's like they put different actors playing the same role and you, you see here another computer a retro computer, weird and here as well you can see some beautiful details like the soft blur in the background change in hairstyle fantastic detail here even this weird knobs and uh, you know, look, the retro style of the monitor it's great and two more uh, this is exactly the same uh, starting picture but it it ended up in two uh, similar looking but different variations you see here the the face is different but it's essentially the same composition but uh, you know what is this <laughs> it put a, a weird exotic style computer what is this it's just like a robot or an alien computer like HAL, HAL 9000 who knows and look at this detail here on the computer the ports or some knobs and buttons and uh, the keyboard here and uh, you can clearly see the casing of the monitor the same vivid uh, green it's very green <laughs> and another the face here is uh, you know a little creepy but the level of the detail is basic but still look at the the jeans here the buttons and the sleeves and uh, the machine here with the cables and uh, buttons and uh, another device here perhaps it's a data set or something very strange but very beautiful and another file finalized rendering I made the picture here is with the face is higher quality here it's very beautiful very nice and uh, the detail is very nice as well here look at the computer the jeans some things soft uh, with soft blur in the foreground again it's a usable usable image it's a beautiful image for decorating purposes and again here unfortunately uh, the program didn't render the face very nice but if you put more passes more uh, more tries it would have made this better if you have defined a, a higher level of quality in the command line look at this image detail in the fabric and also the pictures the blurred pictures in the background and also this uh, kind of sepia of old style uh, image in the colors old-fashioned vint vintage look it's quite amazing also the, the high-res imaging of the previous rendering really 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 amazing I mean this could this could be very well the illustration from a book talking about uh, retro computers you could uh, use this very well you wouldn't have to be detailed and actually, artistically, it's uh, beautifully, very, very, very 
it's very acceptable artistically. And uh, another higher res rendering of a previous image. Of course, the, <laughs> the eyes here are not very well done. But look at the level here of detail on the monitor. The AI actually took pictures from the internet and composed what it thought the, uh, a retro monitor would be. A retro computer. That's amazing. I think this is the, the last image. Yeah. This is the best rendering. But still there are funny details here, like her, her, uh, her fingers here, it's very funny. But it doesn't have to be absolutely realistic. The point is that uh, with this level of, uh, you know, of speed and uh, imagination, uh, it came, uh, all these pictures came up with me just putting in simple sentences and the artificial intelligence doing all the work in a matter of a few seconds. So all these beautiful pictures were created artificially with absolutely no effort from uh, my part. And without even using the special parameters I could use to uh, make the quality better and to make the pictures more accurate without all these uh, weird imperfections and flaws that you saw. So yeah, you can uh, check this, check the, check this out. You can check out this amazing creation tool yourself and uh, you know if you're an uh, illustration uh, graphics artist and you make illustrations for uh, as a living well you should start worrying because the AI is coming for you is coming for your job and uh, <laughs> uh, they they kept telling us that uh, no, the the AI will only replace uh, menial jobs, unskilled working, and there will still be plenty of room for uh, creative individuals. Where look at this now, <laughs> where the AI is uh, taking over creative uh, occupations as well, creative uh, professions. So, um, I could, I could uh, hire an artist to paint me this, uh, to make me this image and to pay him a substantial sum of money or I could uh, pay 30, 30 euros a month and come up with uh, hundreds or thousands of uh, personalized uh, images just like I want them without the hassle of uh, communicated with communicating with a person okay let's collect six sign off have a nice day